Okay, so let's get this one done here. Linkage peg uh, number eight. So those of you that have been stuck through this, uh, this whole process here, we're almost there. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and we're going to make another component. So make sure your assembly is activated up here, miniature train, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this. So call it linkage peg, just like that. Um, once again, I think it'd be best if we just make this off to the side somewhere out here. Um, so it doesn't matter which one of these planes you pick. Um, I don't care. Um, go ahead and capture position just like we've been doing. And uh, we're going to draw off here um, to the side somewhere. doesn't matter. Okay, so looking at this drawing, hopefully you guys are on the same page as me and we're going to do this as a revolve. You can see that they've cut away. Um, a quarter of it just to show you that we're only going to draw what my hand here is waving on and it's this little hatched area just this this is all we're going to draw okay and then we're going to revolve it and wrap it around it kind of looks like another mushroom okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take a and we're going to draw a line just perfectly straight up um, that's going to represent our axis um, so kind of like this straight line um, right here, which is moving up. You notice it's 0.325 tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on my dimension and I'm gonna make it 0.325 tall. Looks like I accidentally drew an extra line while I was talking, so I'm gonna delete that. All right, this one should be a little bit easier than the, the other ones that we've done, so. Um, all right, so while I'm here, I'm going to um, go ahead and I'm going to sketch out the overall shape of this little um, mushroom looking thing. Um, so I just literally drew a line from the bottom perfectly, um, you know, horizontally to the right and then vertically up and then horizontally out. No dimensions yet, just kind of sketched those out. And then I'm going to take it, I'm going to draw an arc, just like this, a three point arc. And I'm going to have the first um, point of the arc be here, and then the, the end point of the arc be here, and then I'm going to create a radius that's somewhere around here. So once again, there's no dimensions on any of these lines I've drawn other than the height of the axis. Now I can go in and I can add all my dimensions. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to dimension first the... Uh, the width of the uh, the stem of this little mushroom looking thing. Um, if I look at my drawing, it says that the diameter of the stem is 0 0.0625, but um, it's going to be revolved, so I need to divide it by 2. So 0 0.0625 divided by 2, since it's going to be wrapped around the axis. All right. The height how tall that little stem is from here to here, if you look at the drawing, um, is 0.25. Now that will not be divided by two since I'm not um, revolving in that direction. Um, let's see here. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, if you look, I've got this SR, the spherical radius of 0.1562, okay, um, let's see what happens when I add that radius up here, um, 0.1562, all right, so um, that did not do what I wanted it to do because if I press escape, um, you'll notice um, that everything kind of moves all over the place and there's nothing really defining um, where the top of this is. And um, so what I need to do is I'm going to delete that radius. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to delete that arc. There's a different way I want to do this. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw a circle just like this. And I'm going to snap the center point of that circle um, somewhere on this line, but not at the midpoint, otherwise it'll be locked there. So somewhere up here, and then I'm going to draw the top diameter of the circle 
um, I'm going to snap it to the end point, just like that. Uh, I'm going to do that again, just in case you missed what I did. So I'm going to undo. I'm drawing a circle whose um, center point is locked to this line, but not to the midpoint, but somewhere up here, and whose diameter is locked to the end point of the end of the line, just like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to dimension the diameter of the circle um, up here um, so that the um, diameter is 0.1562 times 2, since I'm drawing it as a diameter, all right, just like that, okay, and um, from this point now what I've just done is, I'm going to press escape, is I've um, described to fusion what the spherical radius should be. Now I just need to extend this line out until it hits it. So to do that, um, there's a tool that's under here somewhere. It's under modify. It's called extend. And then I'm going to hover and I'm going to extend this line just like that until it hits it. Now I can trim that. And I'm going to also trim this side. And now I have my, my geometry. The reason why I had to do that is because um, this arc is going to hit this point um, at some point in space. So that's how I was able to find that. Okay. Um, all right. Now we can finish our sketch. And we can revolve this thing, which is right here. Revolve this. Make sure I also pick that little chunk down there um, around that axis. And I'm going to hit save. If I zoom out, I should see my train sitting out here, which I do. Activate my assembly. And let's go ahead and let's assemble these little linkage pegs into the train. So we're going to go ahead and use joint. Make sure we're on revolute, which is this one. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick the bottom to there. All right. Let's, uh, let's make a copy. And let's paste. Drag it out of the way. Assemble, joint, Hopefully this is getting easier for you guys. Copy. I'm just right click copy. Right click. Paste. Drag it out of the way. I'm going to do that twice while I'm here just to save myself a little bit of time. I got two of them sitting out there. And now I should. It will drop those in. Joint. Oops, gotta flip that one. Don't forget the flip button, which you can't see because it's behind my window. The flip button is right there. I can flip it this way, I can flip it that way. I feel like an, an acrobat here. There to there. Better flip. And that is it for my linkage pad. Looking good. And everything still should move. Looking good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my nine minute and uh, it's like 18 second video.